All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Big Time Fishing. Um, I'm going to give you an update on the 40 gallon tank here before we start this video. Um, as you can see, we got two new Lemon Oscars I just got the other day. They're still pretty small. Um, the front tosa is definitely bigger. And the, uh, this cichlid right here, he is definitely, he's about the size of the big cichlid now. And then we got two little blue catfish as well. And we also got two more Danios. So yeah, so everything else pretty much is gone. Um, this is what we have for now. Um, but for this video, um, as you saw from the title, we got another tank down here. So this is a 10 gallon tank I'm gonna use for smaller fish um, to kind of grow them for the bigger, bigger tanks so they don't get eaten right away. Um, so we're gonna set this up today. So let's get started. All right, guys, so what we got for this tank is we just got a uh, Aikion Quiet Flow 10 rated for up to 20 gallons for the filter. Um, a floating thermometer, just like we have right over there. Um, we got a 50 watt heater for go up to 13 gallons. Um, just a smaller net it's for the smaller aquarium, obviously. And then we got this African cichlid mix for the substrate. Um, this, see this one, it's kind of, it's more of like a, white brown with bigger chunks of rock and this one just is all grain to mix with white and black so i thought i'd change it up for the substrate color um since the 55 gallon and the 40 gallon are all different um so yeah all right guys so you're probably wondering why i only updated you on the 40 gallon and that's because the 55 gallon isn't even finished yet um we're filming this video in the process of renovating the 55 gallon um, but we're posting this video after those videos are out. So make sure you go check out those videos if you haven't checked those ones out yet. Um, it's a really cool build. And uh, so let's get started with setting up this 10 gallon. All right guys, as you can see, we got it on a stand right now on a table right here in the corner. 40 gallons right there, so it's right, or just right here. We see we got the sand in there. It's actually a really nice color. A lot better than I thought. And it came with this biomagnetic magnet clarifier that'll clear up the water faster that we can get fish in here sooner. Um, so right now we're gonna set up the filter and the heater and all that, and then we'll get some water in here. All right, you guys, so we got the filter installed here, right here. We got the heater installed here, and we got our thermometer installed right here on the glass. So now we're gonna start filling up with water and then I'll update you guys once we get this thing full. All right guys, so I didn't film this part, but uh, we got the tank filled with water. Um, it's actually already pretty clear. A lot more clear than I thought it was gonna be. Obviously the smaller the tank than this one over here that I started with originally. But we got the filter going and uh, the heater is on. Um, I'm gonna keep all my tanks pretty much the same temperature that way when I fish moving from tank to tank that way they're basically the same water. Um, so now we're just gonna get some chemicals in here and uh... Alright guys, so we're gonna put this whole build in, all into the same video. So uh, stay tuned because in a couple days once this gets ready we're gonna go get some fish and you're gonna see that now. Alright guys, it's been a couple days now. As you see we got a light installed in here now and um... The Oscars are still doing good. They're just terrified right now because we got pluckos right here in the bag getting acclimated. Um, so those are going in this tank. And then we also got um, these top water plants right here. It's Amazon frog bit. Amazon frog bit. So we're gonna get those in the tank. Okay. They're really cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'll update you guys once we get everything in. We also got a rock, so we'll show you that in a little bit. All right, you guys, and then right here in the 10 gallon, you can see we got all our rocks, driftwood in there. Um, this plant right here is gonna be going in the 55 gallon, which you guys have already seen. Um, but then right up here, we have um, Amazon Frog Bit. Amazon Frog Bit, that's right. So, uh, and we just fed the Oscars some live guppies, so they're pretty full right now. But uh, also to go in this tank, we got three just freshwater crabs. Um, so they're pretty cool. So we'll get them in here and we'll let you know in a second. All right, guys, here are the crabs. 
I'm gonna go faster than I crawl right out of here. Mm -hmm. There they go. <laughs> that was gonna, that was gonna be a cool addition to this tank. Already cleaning. Yeah. We got here the Texas cichlids. So these Texas cichlids will eventually be going in the 40 gallon because this is basically just gonna be a cichlid um, tank, but these are too small and I'm afraid they'll get eaten or beat up. So we're gonna put them in here until they get a little bigger. So there they go. All right guys, so it's been a little bit since I've updated you on the 10 gallon right here. Um, but we still have the Texas cichlids right here in the corner. And uh, now we just have some little minnows in here that will just be used for feeder fish eventually. Um, but the Oscars got moved over to the 55 gallon as you um, guys have seen in the last video. And also the crabs got moved over to the 55 gallon because they escaped this tank. on this video um it's kind of a short video but no tank build um hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you next time mm -hmm.